Hi, and welcome to the Selenium recipe regarding drag and drop. You might be wondering, why do I have IntelliJ opened and pretty much all the code already written? Well, the reason behind this is I was planning to do this video a couple of times and drag and drop is way more difficult nowadays than it used to be. Before HTML5, drag and drop was pretty simple. You had the actions from Selenium. We're going to see that in a future recipe. And the actions had a built-in method where it says, well, drag and drop. So I was thinking, okay, I make a drag and drop video, something nice, something funny. But uh, it turned out to be way more difficult than I expected. So I'm going to go through this code. And believe me, there's no easy way to to this drag and drop, I searched for a couple of hours, and this is the best thing I could come up with. So let me show you uh, what we're going to do. We're going to go to this website, and here we're going to perform the drag and drop. So basically, A is going to become B, and B is going to go to the place of A. And in order to do this, um, we'll need a couple of things. So the first thing you need is a full-on file, a JavaScript file, which we are going to use in the test. Don't worry, the JavaScript file will be included in the normal repository. And if you're wondering why I have a couple of Chromes here, check the driver update video where I showed you um, what you need to do in case case Chrome is updated and you need to also update your driver. And so let's go through this test. So we're going to navigate to the page. We already know how to do that. We saw it a couple of times. This one with finding the elements. Well, we don't really need to do that at the moment, but it's always good for consistency to do it. And let's do CSS selector here and actually here. And the reason behind that is the solution that I'm going to show you is basically um, using only CSS selectors. So you won't be able to use XPath, you need to use CSS selectors. And once we do the drag and drop, we're going to verify that in the place of B, there is an A. Okay, so let's get actually into the function. The first part and the last part, you don't need to use necessarily. I just put it in for debugging purposes to know when the operation has started and when the operation has finished. And the other part, you have to trust me here. Like I said, I have searched a lot and it's not really something which I would question. So um, the thing is, we're basically searching for the file, and this is here, and then we're opening something called a string buffer, which will actually go line by line and read this whole file. And then once we're going to read the file, um, we're going to basically execute JavaScript code and the functions which are in this drag and drop JS are the ones which are actually going to perform the drag and drop operation. Well, what you find on in the internet is not that clear. So I added one part here and I'm going to comment this to make it command to execute. So this is actually so everything else from here you can just copy and this is where you come in with basically the two parameters the from locator and the to locator and like i wrote here the strings these two strings they need to be css selectors that is why i put also here css selectors of the two elements which are i they have two ids so one of these column a and the other is column b and in your code so if you copy this code here plus the file you just need to give the css selector and then the code 
or the drag and drop operation will be performed. Um, however, I did want to make it pretty clear what is happening. So this is the only thing where we're for me or you as well afterwards are doing anything. Everything else is code which after a search in the internet, a long, long search in the internet, um, like somebody says, makes the magic happen. But let's just run the code and I'm going to put a, a breakpoint here so that you can see that the operation is actually happening. So it's going to the page now. And yeah, A used to be here and now A is here. And if we continue in the code, our test will uh, step out. I think it's our test will, will, uh, will pass. Don't believe me? <laughs> you should. Uh, let me run the actual test and you see the test will pass. So A is in the place of B, and there you have it. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I'm sorry that it's not in the same tone as the other ones, but I'm really happy I could find a solution which, from my point of view, after watching the video, is pretty explanatory. I'm not the person who says, well, you do it like this and shut up. There's no better way. Maybe you can find a better way, but... This whole structure of Selenium, drag and drop, um, and Chrome, this is the best way I could find to do it. You will find most possibly posts which are all the ways that just use, well, actions. Try them, if you don't believe me, try them and you will see they do not work. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you like to see more of the videos, subscribe and hit the bell. And please write in the comments what you want from the Selenium recipes. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.